Hey, Seth David here with the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time, we're talking about the coffee calculator. Now, where does this come from? Just a little bit of background context. I was on LinkedIn earlier today, actually kind of this morning, and I stumbled on this post from actually a friend of mine. Um, and it was about how if you spend $7 a day on a cup of coffee and you stop spending that, and if you put it away, you know, $7 a day for so many years, it would add up to like $6 billion. And it doesn't add up to $6 billion. I was actually kind of curious because clearly they were exaggerating in the post. So I, actually, I was like, what would it add up to, right? And then I, throughout the day, as I had breaks between calls, I kind of, I kept kind of adding to it. And I thought, well, okay, but what if we actually were putting it away in an interest-bearing account? And I thought it's probably, it's, it's largely irrelevant because what interest are they paying? Maybe 1%. <laughs> but I said, okay, so let's just, let's give it the 1%. And see what that does. And then little by little throughout the day as I was taking breaks between Zoom calls, I kept kind of playing with it and tweaking this spreadsheet that I created. And when it was all done, I said, screw it. I'm not going to comment on my friend's post. I went to all this trouble and created all this. Why not just create my own post? And I called it the coffee calculator. So let's take a look at my screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in, wherever you're watching this, you're going to see a link that you can use to access a view only version of this. Let's see how many people pay attention and follow directions. All you'll need to do is click file and you can click make a copy. Or if you want to use it in Excel, just download to Microsoft Excel, excuse me. Um, so that's how you can get your own copy and you can play around with it. By all means, feel free to share this. Here's the bit.ly link that I used wherever you clicked on it to get over here. So please share this with others um, and you can get your own editable copy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a starting date, right? We're, I'm assuming a starting balance of zero, but let's say you have a savings already that you're starting with. So I, I made the room for you so you could put that in there. Okay, then the daily investment. Now, my friend's article or post was really based on the, the idea that it was going to be $7 a day that you'd be spending on Starbucks coffee, which if you're, let's be honest, if you're going to Starbucks like twice a day um, you're, and you're spending about three fifty each time, eh, seven bucks a day, right? Stuff adds up. So get a French press, brew it at home, it tastes better and you'll save a ton of money. Uh, and then you can do this. So some these numbers are kind of rough, right? So I just said, all right, well, if it's $7 a day, then multiply that by 30 days. I know some months have 31 days and some months have 28 days and so on. So it's rough, right? But it's just to give you an idea. So if you're putting away $7 a day, estimated monthly investment is $210. And let's say we're going to do this for 50 years, right? I look at it and I'm like, eh, 50 years, I might not even be here anymore. Let's go with 40, right? So, and then the, the spreadsheet calculates what that means in months. And here's where you can change the rate at which you're earning interest on that money. This also assumes you never draw the money out, right? You just put away the $7 a day, the $210 a month. And so the key is looking at the number of months, that's gonna show you how far down the list you can go on this. But I've got this configured to kind of stop based on whatever the term is. And here you can see the year, right? So let's go down, we need to go to month number 480. Um, a quick way to do that, by the way, is start here, control shift down arrow, control F as in find, but this is going to search the whole sheet. So click the ellipsis. This is assuming we're still in Google Sheets, of course. And then here it's going to search the range I've selected. We want month number, was it 400? Done. It wasn't month number 400. What was it? 480. Find. All right, 480, boom. And now you can see we got right to the end. So during that time, assuming 1% interest and putting in $210 every month, at the end of 40 years, we would have saved 120, let's just call that 124,000. So that's what this kind of tells you. And of course, you can go in here now and play around and say, well, what if I put away $10 a day, right? So $10 a day for 40 years, down to month number 480. I'm just gonna page down here because I feel like it's actually going to be faster, right? So now it's 176,000. Anyway, I just thought this would be a fun thing to play with and put out there for you to play with and see what it would take if you actually started putting money away instead of spending it on two cups of coffee at Starbucks every day. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. This is Notes from Nerds Desktop, which are kind of fleeting thoughts that I have throughout my day and things just like this that I thought might be of interest to you.